So it's officially been signed. Uh, Yo Romero is going to fight Israel Adesanya for the UFC middleweight title on March 7th for uh, UFC 248. Um, I'm very excited for this uh, particular fight. Um, if you look at uh, Yo Romero's last four fights, he does have three losses, but them losses were razor-thin decisions that could have honestly have gone his way. And obviously Adesanya's on a ma massive run now. He's beaten Robert Whittaker for the UFC uh, middleweight title. And before that, he beat... Um, he obviously fought Gast Gastonem, and he also uh, beat the legend uh, Anderson Silva. So um, obviously th this is a very good fight. I think um, obviously because um, in April time you're gonna see you're gonna see the uh, Tony Ferguson versus Khabib fight. Th that and there's also other fights going on like um, Conor McGregor fighting Cerrone. This fight may be actually kind of overlooked because. I think it's just naturally assumed that Romero is going to uh, lose this particular fight because of his uh, record in his last four fights. And also the fact that um, he, he does seem to be like 42 years old, while Adesanya seems to be in his prime. But I think um, a lot of people are overlooking um, uh, Romero's chances chances in this particular fight. Uh, the reason is, is because um, if, you, if you look at Romero's uh, history, he's actually got a wrestling background. Now, obviously, Adesanya... Um, He's more of a stand-up fighter. He, he's he's best when he's on his feet. Um, he has developed a takedown defense to actually counter-attack when people try to bring him to the ground. But with Romero's uh, vast experience uh, in wrestling, um, I feel like um, if Romero can actually get Adesanya on the ground and start to ground and pound him and use Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling, he may be able to get an advantage over him. But the fact is he needs to get through uh, Adesanya's long range to actually pull that off. But I think it's uh, something that can actually happen. Um, Obviously, if Adesanya keeps moving and keeps it a long range uh, kickboxing fight, it's it's going to be um, very very hard for Romero to get in close. But I feel like Romero can actually lull him into a false sense of security. If you look at Romero as a fighter, what he tends to do is he tends to um, actually explode. Like he'll go through a round or two where he not, he literally doesn't do a lot, and then out of nowhere he'll just explode and somehow just give this explosive run of energy where he just he starts just like f failing, throwing loads of punches and kicks. And Romero is uh, no slouch in the stand-up department, so we may be able to actually counter-attack um, Adesanya's uh, stand-up game as well. But obviously, Adesanya's got all the advantages when it comes to that particular field, which is uh, the stand-up game. But I feel like a lot of people are overlooking how good uh, Romero could actually do in this particular fight. And um, I think this fight has been a little bit slept on because... Um, Obviously, we've got huge super fights with uh, Adesan uh, with um, Khabib and Tony Ferguson, and obviously, um, you got fights with uh, you got fights of uh, Conor McGregor. Obviously, he's coming back. And Romero, even though he does have some type of following, he's not as big as them two fight to um, Khabib or or Conor McGregor. But I feel like um, it's it's a very exciting fight, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, obviously, uh, Romero uh, seems to be. He doesn't seem to, even though he is 42, he seems to be a very young 42. And he seems, it, it's only crazy. Can, can you imagine if Romero was 20 years younger, what he would have been doing? I think he would have been like the king of the division. If he's given fights like Robert Whittaker and Paul Acosta, um, very close fights, and he's uh, 42 years old. Imagine what he would have done uh, 20 years ago if he would have uh, joined the UFC. But I feel like he, he's going to give Adesanya a very good fight. I, I will not be surprised if the upset happens and he beats him. But I'm edging towards Adesanya to actually take it on points. Um, he may even uh, hurt Romero. But it could happen that Romero grows old overnight. It, it does tend to happen with fighters who have gone on for a long time one fight they're, they're, they look very good and the next fight they just don't look the same again but I'm very much looking forward to this uh, tell me below who you think is going to actually win this particular fight I'm going for uh, Adesanya by decision but I still think he's going to have a few rough moments in this particular fight because uh, Romero is very unpredictable very explosive and he obviously got uh, um, he's got a wrestling game that's um, I think a lot of people are overlooking because um, everyone's on this Adesanya hype train but I feel like if Romero gets him on the ground um, it could turn very it could turn very um upside down for Adesanya he might not be able to get out of this uh, situation because uh he's his obviously his uh, wrestling and his uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is nowhere near as advanced as his uh, kickboxing obviously he's been working on it and he's he's developed a takedown defense but 
I feel like a lot of people are overlooking uh, how Romero could particularly do in this uh, particular fight. So that's my views on this particular fight. Uh, tell me your views below and obviously like and subscribe for this uh, particular video. I've got more videos coming your way. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your time.